And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha of Boards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock God Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock God Rick Maxa. We're live at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. This is a big event. You want to come down here? It's their annual San Diego Bay Bass Tournament Sale and Seminar, and there's so much going on today, I, I can't even believe how big this event is. So if you're not here yet, you better get down here. Dana Landing right across from SeaWorld in Mission Bay. Come on down. We have Captain Benny Florentino joining us for the next two hours on the show and a lot of great guests. So you just come down, Dana Landing in Mission Bay, or just listen right here on the Mighty 1090. It was another awesome year for fishing in San Diego, and it seems to still be going strong. I've talked to people that continue to get into tuna and yellowtail offshore. It was another awesome year for Ford, too. Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. If the car you're driving is six, seven, eight years old, it's really time to get into something new because the technology in these new Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs is nothing short of impressive. You wouldn't want a cell phone with 8-year-old technology, would you? So why keep driving a car with old technology? Now's the time to stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer and check out the latest innovations and designs, like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on your new F-150. You just turn a little knob on the dash, and it steers your trailer exactly where you want it to go. Trust me, backing in your boat will never be easier. Learn more at SanDiegoCountyFord.com or just stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. The new Shimano Torium HG is here, and you'll be able to experience this fantastic reel now at your local Shimano dealer. The new Torium is up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and is tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of past models. The new Shimano Torium HG is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing with a cross carbon drag providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel. It has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears. The machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easy to crank in the big fish. The new lightweight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control. Available in three sizes, the Torium HG is the next evolution in compact, rigid and powerful saltwater star drag reels. Get it now at your local Shimano dealers. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090, live at Dana Landing for the Big Bay Bass Seminar Sale. What a cool day today's going to be, man. It's incredible. The sun is kind of shining. It's uh, the, the uh, it's a beautiful day down here at Dana Landing. Uh, bring your jacket. It's a little chilly. Even Rock Hot Rick's got pants and a jacket on, right? Well, a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not go crazy. Yeah, Let's not, not go, go crazy. too crazy. Uh, but it's a big event, man. There's all kinds of booths. There are... Uh, our, our sales going on here at Dana Landing that will blow yes. your mind. Yes, they will. I, I, 
Stephen must have a temporary insanity or something. <laughs> right? Here comes Johnny. He's bringing us some, uh, some incredible sales here. Wait a minute. 20% off all lobster gear. That's just added, right? 10% off all clothing, Fishworks and t- Salty Crew. Uh, Ropolas, uh, X-Wrap Mags, 15% off. You buy two X-Wraps, you get one free Williamson Speed Pro. MC Swim Baits, wait a minute here. 30% off all MC. And we got Corey Sandin, the man, right here. 30% off. Cowboys uh, ready to clean up over there. And War Baits, 30, what? Are you kidding me, know, Ricky? Right? 30% off War Baits. Uh, Afrin's here. they got a great setup. Uh, I know... Uh, uh, a lot of our buddies are here. They're all over the place. We've got uh, um, Scott here from Iowa. We've got uh, Hoos here and Jimmy from Berkeley. And, uh, man, they're just guys all over the place yeah, here. John be- Ireland from Rancher Lane Arrows here with his crew. This is not just a sale and not just a seminar, but there's a lot of people here displaying. Yeah. There's a lot of cool things to see. I mean, there's rods and reels, and all. obviously all the boys are here to get all the killer information. This is going to be a rad day. Yeah, CCA is here. You can sign up for CCA. you got Friends of Rollo here. How about this, Friends of Rollo? Uh, Jim's got at the booth, Steve Pennard has donated an accurate two-speed reel. How cool is that? That dude? you can sign up at the Friends of Rollo booth, and they're going to draw it at the end of the seminar today. You don't need to be present to win. Just go by the uh, Friends of Rollo booth, talk to Jim over there at the Friends of Rollo booth, and win an accurate two-speed reel. How much is that reel? It's, it's several hundred dollars, and what's cool about it, too, is that obviously you're buying a raffle ticket for Friends of Rollo, so you're, you're going to have a shot at winning all the grand prizes. It's probably something you're going to buy anyways, but this just puts you into a mini raffle just for the reels. Your ticket's yeah. obviously still good for the grand prizes as that, as that comes up at Fred Hall, but you're going to get a chance to you know be one of just who comes down to the sale today is going to be entered to win a killer, accurate two-speed reel. Thanks to Day, uh, Steve Pennard and Dana Landing and, and, and all the great stuff here, as, as well as just supporting Friends of Rollo is the most important thing, and taking kids fishing. That's it. So go see Jim and sign up for that. And uh, Benny Florentino is here. Good morning, Benny. Hey, good morning, guys. Great to have you. Thanks for joining us here at Dana Landing, a big event today. It's pretty cool, huh? Middle of the winter, and uh, uh, we're, we're, we're talking bass fishing. Oh, it's, it's awesome. You know, and bass fishing right now is just uh, uh, really, really, really good. Um, you know, I took a trip last week with my son, and Randy Spicer, owner, co-owner of uh, Kicker Jigs, and, boy, we put the screws to him. Yeah, boy, we probably cool. caught like 60, 70 bass on the beach, shallow, the way we like to fish. Jeez. And a lot of it's surface iron fishing. Oh, A lot man. of surface iron fishing. Awesome. We're right out in front of Mission Bay? No, no, no. We were at San Clemente Island. Okay. Yeah, beautiful wow. day. Uh, burned a lot of fuel because I think I was going 40-plus knots to oh my gosh. and 45-plus knots home. Wow. Uh, no way. We wanted to get home quick, and I said, okay, let's waste the fuel. <laughs> yeah, this is your new boat, right? My, well, my new boat will be ready next week. You have another, another new boat. This is the new, new boat. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on new, new, and, new, new. Yeah. And the old one isn't so shabby, I'll tell you. That, that Mercury Verado just pushed us pretty, pretty quick, and uh, uh, that Ranger 240 still isn't bad, but the new one's pretty awesome what is the new one one. it is a ranger 25 10 um 25 foot and then it has a 300 uh mercury cold fusion verado wow so i should go you know at 4500 at about 50 maybe (laughs) cruising speed you know we want to save fuel so but uh uh the boat will be rigged with uh lawrence electronics top to bottom uh hds threes and all the bells all and whistles. All the touchscreen, so, yeah. the new touchscreen. All the new touchscreen, It's, it's yeah. pretty awesome. Which is, it? you know, is owned by Navico, which also right. has Simrad, Simrad under their right. umbrella. Right. Exactly. And another thing was I bought two food warmers to keep in the, uh, in the console. <laughs> what? Oh, oh you could cool. Spray, you Hot could, burritos in the morning. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Pasta, chick, uh, chicken Alfredo, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, breakfast burritos, the whole deal. Nice. So my guests, my guests will be eating good. And uh, the, the thought process to, to create a uh, small boat – Long range style of service, so uh-huh. that's the eating, the drinks, etc., and then have that great Shimano tackle that's also on the boat. So, yeah, um, pretty amazing. Looking, looking forward to that's it. That's exciting, man. But uh, this event is huge. The people, I mean, more people are coming up, and uh, 
Um, uh, I tell you, a, a lot different than the last couple of years. Boy, it's grown almost four times over. So yeah, I'd say so. Pretty thanks, amazing. Thanks to uh, the gang of Dana for having me here, and thank you guys for having because this is a great event. Yeah, this is a great event, and of course, you're on the Shimano Pro staff. You were probably testing some of that new Shimano gear over Clementia. <laughs> you know, well, week, right? you know, I'm I'm still fishing. You know, the uh, the new West Coast Terramars, uh-huh. uh, which uh, has went over very very well. Um, and I know a lot of my guests that come on the boat, you know, they, they come, a lot of the, the anglers come on the boat without bringing any tackle, and then the next time I see them, they've got new jig sticks, new swim bait <laughs> pods, new Tranks 500, you know. So it, it, it proves that, you know, that new product does and performs very, very well. Yeah, yeah no it doubt. sure does. Absolutely. Yeah, no question about it. So what about this bay bass thing? Any top uh, – we, we've got, of course – one of the big events today at 10 o'clock at Fast Lane Kayaks, right next to us here, um, next to Dana Landing, at, next to the Dana Launch Ramp, right yep. across from SeaWorld, just so everybody knows where we are right now. Uh, we're on the water here in front of Dana Landing, so come on over. Uh, seminar, big panel discussion. I'll be uh, hosting the panel discussion with some big names, right? Yeah, my good buddy, uh, Jimmy Decker. Uh, but after the boot, you're gonna Warren. admit admit that, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, after the Booten, myself, and of course uh, Corey Sandin with MC Swim Baits. You know, uh, uh, some some secrets. I, I don't know. As the tide goes out, I'd be fishing ledges, fishing <laughs> big. You only need three big bites. Remember yeah. that, anglers. You're out there for I don't know how many hours, ten hours, or whatever it may be. But all you need is three big bites. Now, if you want to break it up, maybe bring an, an umbrella rig and go catch spotties or small bass for a little while, but concentrate on the tides, you know, in going, out going, take advantage of that, and also structure. Yeah. You know, find some of those rock formations out there, pylons and that sort of thing. Uh, sometimes those big guys will hunker down and, and just sit there and just, you know, if you see it, spend some time on it. Yeah. Spend cool. some time on it. Well, I know if you have not signed up for the big event, the San Diego Bay Bass Tournament, which was a week from today, uh, Dwayne and the gang from San Diego Anglers are here. Mm -hmm. They have a booth, and you can sign up right here. And uh, compete against Rock Cod Rick. You're going to go fish it, right? Absolutely, yeah. Leave me alone in the studio next week. (laughs) Doug and I, uh, that's been a tradition for a lot of years. We wouldn't miss it, man. It's a really, really fun time. Fun time. And you don't need to be an expert fisher. That's for sure. You know, here's the other. Clearly. Doug and I compete. Yeah. Here's the other. Here's the other crazy thing is you can compete in the halibut division. Sure. Some serious money. Yeah. Catch a big halibut? Or what, what, like last year, what was it, like over a grand? Yeah, Remember it's a lot of money halibut? every year. And, and, and like Benny says, too, and you know, y- it takes three. I mean, it literally yeah. takes three It takes three sand bass, you yeah. know, and that's, and that's it. So everybody's got a shot for sure. I mean, it, it's a really fun event. And even regardless of how you do when it's all said and done, afterwards, huge raffle, huge barbecue, big party. Everybody's talking smack and high-fiving and, you know, telling their stories of the one that they hooked and they got him into the rocks and they busted out. It's a really, really fun time. Yeah, it is a fun time. So come on down here to Dana Landing in Mission Bay. Sign up for the tournament or just hang out here and see. It's like a, it's almost like a mini Fred Hall. No doubt. Here. There's, a, there's a lot going on, but it's all kind of bass, which is kind of fun. And, and it's bass. The cool thing about bass is bass is something that everybody can do. That's right. Whether it be a bay bass right here in Mission Bay or San Diego Bay or out in the ocean or going to Clemente with Benny. And that's something I, I want to tell you. I've been several times with Benny over to Clemente on his operation, uh, Coastal Charters. <laughs> and uh, that's what you do. You take people fishing, right? That Yep, that's exactly what I do is I take people fishing, one, to, to obviously to catch, but also it's a learning process, too. You know, a lot of anglers hire me to take them out to Try that great new uh, Shimano gear, but also, you know, some might have some, uh, uh, you know, issues on casting. They want to be a better caster. They want to be a better, they may own a boat. They want to know how I set up fishing, you know, bass and, and kind of pick my brain. It's, it's you know, uh, 6 to, to 12 hours of, of on-the-water seminar and uh, testing and, and putting that uh, into play right on the water. Yeah, absolutely. So, um so, Ricky, help me out with who else is here, because we've been rocking around. We have the Phoenix Rod guys. Uh, I know Dana Landing has a booth set up outside, yep. and uh, there's, a, there's a big sale going on inside. They have the sale going on outside with uh, all their the stuff, and this is only for today. Yeah, well, like you said, I mean, how cool is it 30% off, like you said, MC Swim Baits, but more than just you're getting MC Swim Baits. I mean, you can talk to Corey. You literally say, hey, I'm fishing the bay, or I'm fishing, I fish a lot of Clemente, or what do you think? I mean, you, you know, you're going to have a guy that not only not only pours them and fishes them, but you're going to have the man help you pick 
pick your baits out, or maybe help you decide what's more right for you, or, or maybe you talk to Afrin and say, you know, you get a, a little lesson on on war baits, and then you find the right baits for it. Maybe you want to fish a weedless bait or a leadhead and swim bait. I mean, you got the guys here helping you do all this stuff. It's, no, no you question can't get about that. It. In addition, Ron Lane's wandering around with his crew. They got the salty crew over there. You can go test a Hobie kayak on the water right now. Uh, go see the guys at Fast Lane, and they'll put you in a kayak, and you can test one of those pro anglers out uh, on the bay here. It's a, a nice morning to do That's that. Perfect, so yeah. a, a lot going on here in, in, in Mission Bay at Dana Landing, and uh, we'd love to have you join us down here. You're not kidding, man. The best thing to do is just come down. Like Pete said, we're in San Diego right at Mission Bay, Dana Landing right across from SeaWorld. It's an awesome spot, easy to get to, tons of parking, tons going on, too. So if you're here listening to the Let's Talk Hookup, man, just hop in the car and come down because I can assure you it's – very, very worth it, and how cool that we're going to have this killer seminar right afterwards. So it's going to be a very fun day, and if you want to join us on the phones this morning, we'd love to hear from you. Best thing to do right now, give us a call, 858-AREA-CODE-457-1090. Again, 858-457-1090. That's our local number. Or you can reach us toll-free. That toll-free number is 877-792-1090. Again, 877-792-1090. Not only are we going to be taking your phone calls, not only are we going to be taking great information today, we've got some awesome prizes going on today. And especially if you're down here at Dana Landing this morning, it's going to be a lot of fun. And anybody out there listening that would like to ask a question, just come on up. See the cowboy. He's the guy with the cowboy hat. See Tommy P. We're going to get you loaded up with your questions. Step up to the microphone. And the first people that step up to the microphone, Microphone and ask a question are all going to get a courtesy hat of AFCO or Shimano, and we sure appreciate Benny and all the boys up at AFCO and Shimano giving away a much kill prize. So free hats to every person that while supplies last, step up to the mic to ask a question. Plus, you can register for a free pair of Maui Gym sunglasses that we're going to draw at the end of the show today, and you can take your choice of any pair inside of Dana Landing. So again. See Tommy over here. He's going to get you registered, get a card filled out. One lucky person is going to win that drawing, get to walk right into Dana Landing and pick out absolutely any, any pair of the show. And I will say, too, for those guys that are out there, I think Dana probably has the biggest selection of Maui gyms no of question. anywhere I know. I mean, that's including all the sunglass shops and everywhere else. I mean, they've got the biggest selection. And... They do a lot of custom ordering of glasses, too. Steve uses that My Maui a lot. So maybe you like a bronze lens, but from the factory, it only comes in a black frame, but you want a tortoiseshell. These guys have a lot of stuff that you can't normally find on the shelf, too. So a rad selection of Maui gyms. Yeah, so everybody that steps up to the mic, wall supplies last, going to win a prize here from Captain Benny Florentino. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and ask a question, make a comment. John Ireland is here. John, step up to that mic. You're not going to win a prize, but you're, you're <laughs> Hey, up, are you showing off your new shoulder? I got a brand new shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah right you're showing pinion. it off. Yeah, <laughs> right front. Metal man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah December first, I went in and I uh, got a titanium shoulder. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm out Looking of the good, brace. man. No, no, doing well. You ready to throw well. baseball with it now? I don't know about Not quite baseball. Yet. Anymore, but <laughs> hopefully by April we'll be able to cast in Panama. Oh right? yeah, and that's yeah. why that's my goal. That's to be able it. To do a little casting. So you guys have a booth here. You got Pam do. and Phil Benson here uh, helping do. out. And, and Bill Decker. And Bill Decker. Don't forget the world famous Bill Decker. Yeah, too. He's, yeah. The, he's the expert on the coast along here. You yeah. Know. Every morning he fishes uh, down here. Oh, oh yeah. And you're going to be hanging out here. You ask questions about Rancho Lanero. You can make a a booking for. Uh, one of the tournaments? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I might announce, too, for the first time, uh, we're going to have a bunch of great prizes for our Let's Talk Hookup, our 20th annual Let's Talk Hookup <laughs> Rancho Lane Arrow Tournament in June. And the first big prize I secured yesterday, thanks to Rick Jensen's from Sport Fishing Financial, we're going to have a $500 cash prize for the largest Wahoo or Dorado. Nice. And we'll nice. have more than that, too. But that's the first one, thanks to Rick Jensen and Sport Fishing Financial. That's going to be the largest Wahoo or Dorado, five. Nice. And, and you know, the water's still pretty warm, you know. It still hasn't gone under 75 degrees. So yeah. <clears throat> come June, it should be back up in the 80s again, which is a good Dorado and the Wahoo yeah, temp. So cool. we're it's looking for a lot of billfish, too, right now. You know, the uh, actually, we opened the hotel they're, believe it or not, I'm, they're you going to be You tried to keep it closed. Uh, well, lots, but. they're building a Four Seasons hotel, believe it or not, south in that marina south there at La Rivera, believe it or not. And we've got 26 rooms uh, uh, rented out to the photography team there. I guess they're doing marketing from photographers and models on the whole nine yards. So uh, they rented the hotel for 10 days. And, uh, wow. Yeah. yeah that's so cool. That's, that's and the airfares are unbelievable. There. In fact, I bought my airfare on Alaska Airlines the other day. A uh, round trip uh, for our tournament in June, 
uh, it was 320, including tax. And keep in mind, 120 of that is tax. No, I know. So it's I, 100 bucks round trip, 100 bucks each way. Even better for me because, back with plus because I'm a Mexican citizen. I have dual citizenship, so I don't pay those taxes. Oh, you don't have to I get, I get refunded on those. Wow. But I just, I just got I'm going down Monday and coming back on Thursday, and I have 247. Wow. That's right. crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. air, and, you, know, they, you know, the new bridge in, in Tijuana, the airport, uh, all the c- competition now has really brought those fares down. I guess they're really speeding up the uh, process of immigration, too, coming across the border and all that, which is really the big deal going yeah. out of Tijuana. Oh, yeah. You know, going down is fine coming back and having to go through uh, torturous customs. And I think Oh, you don't have to do that there. anymore. No, the new no. bridge is That's open. What I say. That's what I yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah, they're combined a lot of stuff, yeah. and they're you. They're both both Mexico and the U.S. are intermingled now, and so you just one check coming through rather than two both ways. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Pretty That's nice, awesome. making yeah. it easier. Well, all right, so you'll be okay. here talking Rancho Lane Air all I will. day. I all will. right, we got a lot of billfish down there, by the way. All right, thanks, John, for continue. being okay. here at Dana Landing. Appreciate that very you much. Bet. Well, as you can hear, we've just got an awesome show again. If you want to join us on the phones, eight five eight four five seven ten ninety. That's our local number, or toll free eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. When we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls, taking your stand up microphone questions. Lots of great stuff coming your way. You stay tuned. It's Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up on the mighty ten ninety. Fishing Cedros Island is getting better and better for the traveling anglers, thanks to Cedros Tackle. The tackle shop on the island is now offering full rod repair. Now, with the addition of a new rod wrapping machine, fixing guides, tips, and handles is a snap. Cedros Tackle is also constantly expanding the tackle selections to meet the needs of the local fishermen and the traveling anglers with all the name brand and high quality items you would expect to find at your local shop back home. Cedros Tackle has a full rental rod selection with Phoenix Rods and Daiwa Reels. So just leave your gear at home. They just brought down fully outfitted Hobie kayaks to the island and fishing has been fantastic. Construction on the deluxe Cedros Tackle Casita is nearly complete. So get ready to enjoy a great kayak vacation on beautiful Cedros Island with Jeff Omar and the gang. Visit CedrosTackle.com on the web or for more info on trips, the Tackle Shop or Cedros Island or call Jeff at 760-412-2507. For East Cape Fishing, Jen Ren is known as the best. This is Mark Rayer. Great service, top quality equipment, including all accurate reels, Calstar rods, and Cibran electronics, has put my immaculately maintained twin engine cruisers in a class of their own. For memories of a lifetime, just bring your hat and sunglasses, and we'll provide a fishing experience that will exceed your expectations. Our calendar's filling fast, so don't miss out. For packages, two live webcams, a weekly fishery report, and more, check out TeamGenRen.com. We pick up at all East Cape Resorts. So let's go fishing. Time to talk about great equipment from Shimano. And with Benny Florentino here, talk. let's talk Tranks oh, yeah. and Terramar, huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Talk about that. What does Tranks mean? How has that changed your fishing? Uh, it's It's been incredible, especially for my guests on the boat. You know, the fact that the ease of casting and you don't have to put the line back on the reel um, is fantastic. But if you have novices... That variable brake system where you can adjust it per angler's uh, competency uh, and then team it up with a, a medium heavy, uh, such as that new 90 MH Terramar, a great combo for both fishing calico bass and yellowtail. It's been the favorite of all my guests on the boat. Throwing surface irons? It's throwing the surface iron. Wow. And Absolutely. what about throwing big swim baits? Uh, big swim baits? I like that uh, 80H teamed up with a... Uh, Calcutta 400D. Oh, nice. man. Nice. Perfect setup. Yeah. If When it comes to bass, nobody touches the equipment from Shimano. So check it out at your local Shimano dealer. Sport fishing, not just for dad anymore. At Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dana Wharf. Join the Dana Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the bass capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. My angler h 2 oath. Like the mighty flounder, I will keep one eye on the pole and the other watching for rogue waves. I'll save water by taking shorter showers and enthusiastically celebrate talk like a pirate day. Aye, 
I will chat up the locals before launching in unfamiliar waters. And I will always, always wear my life jacket. What's your H2O's? Tell us at BoatCalifornia.com. The California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways reminds you to wear it, California. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090 again. We're live here at Dana Landing in Mission Bay having a great time. And like you said, man, boy, in the last hour, this thing is shaping up to be no joke. There are a lot of people, a lot of vendors, and a lot of them because there's a crazy good seminar and an even better sale going on. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, come on down. Dana Landing's right across from SeaWorld in Mission Bay. And uh, we have young Jay stepping up to the mic here. Hey, Jay. What's up, Jay? Thanks for joining us here at Dana Landing. Turn that thing down. And uh, you have a question for... Uh, for us or yeah. Benny? Yeah. I just started fishing. What would help me? Oh, Benny. That, that, he's the man when it comes to fishing. Well, I tell you what. You know what? what my, how old are you? Ten? Eleven. 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 Perfect. My grandson is eleven. Okay. And he started fishing a bait caster when he was ten. Um, I, I tell you, there's a, a lot of people here that can help you with that. But uh, to spend time on the water and uh, to practice... But I would say a Corrado 200i and a Terramar um, medium, 8-foot medium, or even a 7.6 for your height. Uh, my grandson right now fishes the 200 Corrado, and a 7.6 medium is his rod. That's perfect for young guys like yourself, and you can easily, easily grow into it. You can throw a half-ounce bait to an ounce, throw rip baits, throw wax wings. It's a real versatile outfit. So, And if you put 40 or 50-pound braid on it, you can fish Mission Bay, you can fish La Jolla, you can fish on the half day. Um, you can do a lot of things with that outfit. Very, very versatile. Spinner baits, umbrella rigs, it's really versatile. So that's what I would do. But practice. And the biggest thing that I teach all my guests that are not proficient at casting, you start at 2 o'clock, you end up at 9 o'clock, and turn your wrist. Okay? Here, here, turn your wrist. I learned that from Frank Lepresti back casting a... Uh, you know, he used to do the old clothespin seminar, and that's the same way. That's how I taught my grandson, 2 o'clock, 9 o'clock, thumb on the spool. Okay? That's that's the best I have for you. That's awesome. All right. But I do have something for you. Got some swim baits for the bay. Got a Shimano hat. There you go, bud. Check awesome. that out. <laughs> hey, good, Jay, thanks Thank for being you. down here. All right. All thanks right. a lot for thanks coming down. down. Dana Land, I appreciate that. All right, Ed and Mira Mesa is here, too, Ed. Now, if you want to step up to the mic, uh, see the cowboy. He's the guy with the cowboy hat right here. And uh, he'll sign you up here, and you're going to have a chance to win all, all kinds of swag that, uh, that Benny brought. And don't forget, go see Tommy P. over here, um, and Tommy P. will set you up to win that pair of uh, Maui Jim sunglasses. You take your pick of any pair of Maui Jim sunglasses right here at Dana Landing. Just go sign up right here, and we're going to draw that at 9 o'clock. Uh, this morning, so it's free. Just just uh, fill out a coupon there, and uh, Tommy will take care of you there. Ed, good morning. What's up, Ed? Good morning, good morning Ed. guys. Hey, uh, my question is, on a day like today, out in the bay and that, does the color of, of a plastic and that, does, does it matter And compared to, like, an overcast morning and that? Yeah, I, I think if you talk to a lot of the, 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 the experts, they will say bright day, bright color, uh, or low light. Low light, dark color, generally speaking. But a lot of us that do fish the bays and even for calico bass on the beach, we have favorites that we fish. Like for me, I like a fire tiger color, kind of a bright yellow and, and green. Um, uh, like I like fishing crankbaits out here, like fire tiger crankbaits on the edges and even ripping it through the grass or even like a chartreuse and white spinnerbait. Uh, but if I'm fishing a, a swim bait, something with green and yellow, and uh, probably a war bait and a half half ounce in the yellow. That would be my choice. Would you use like a twin tail, like a scampi? I, uh, I, I see a lot of scampies coming back. Yeah, old school guys, absolutely. You know, um, I know that motor oil is always a good color, whether it's spotties, halibut, uh, calico bass. Yeah, and that, that's good to see. I know I talked to a few anglers, and they are going back in their tackle box and, and fishing that, you know, even cool. the bright-colored orange for, for sand bass in the bay. I mean, they're putting trailers. They're matching up with a slayer head, you know, matching that orange, bright orange color and fishing structure. What about uh, attractant? Um, uh, you definitely want to use something so the fish hold on because they get so much pressure. Um, you know, uh, hot sauce, 
Tommy Gomes' uh, uni butter, uh, I think it, it does help. You know, it definitely does help. So the fish, when they suck that bait down, it, it, they hold on for that split second so you can wind down and come tight with the fish. Do you use that? I do. Yeah. I do. In the bays, absolutely. Open open water, the islands, I don't. But in the bays, I think it's an advantage. Absolutely. All right. It's one of those things that it sure isn't a disadvantage. Yeah. No. You know, whether it makes the world a difference or not, you know, if it's a really good biting fish, they're probably going to eat it anyways. But if it's really slow... I guarantee you one thing, it's sure not going to hurt your game any. Right. right. And if you're fishing the bait, uh, bait tournament next weekend, I, I can almost guarantee 90% of the boats will have some kind of scent pack in their boat no just doubt. because at one point of the tournament it's going to be low and slow, and I think as much stuff you put on there, it's going to only help and not hurt. All right. All right. Thanks, Very thanks, good. All right, Eddie, thanks for coming down to Dana Landing. I want to go over, you know, the Daiwa guys are here. Scott, yes, Scott Nagel. Mm-hmm. And you buy a Daiwa Proteus rod, you get a $30 Dana Landing gift certificate, gift card. Oh, very How about cool. that? Well, that's huh? very cool. Huh? And, and uh, you get an inshore, an, a Daiwa Arid Coastal Inshore Bass Reel for $59.99. Normally, $99.99 while rad. supplies. $100 reel, you really get $59. Bucks. For, fi- for $59.99. That's rad. How about that? Uh, Phoenix rods, get a Phoenix rod for four... You buy any Phoenix rod, you get a Performance Sun shirt, which is $40 for free. Right. Yeah, that's just kind of some. How about the, the ones we aren't supposed to talk about, yeah. right? The Yozuri Surface Bull Poppers for nine ninety nine, Which is, again, it's a $30 lure. Yeah. $30 yeah. Yozuri Popper for 10 bucks. Yeah. Okay, so how about the Yozuri Bonito for $19? That's a $60 lure. $60 lure. <laughs> for 20 okay. bucks. How about... Buy any three-liter wheel coils of Berkeley Prospect fluorocarbon and receive one free. That's awesome. Yeah, and awesome. you can actually personally buy it from the one and only Bob Hoos and Jimmy Decker. From the man. Who are here. <laughs> yeah, they're it's here right cool now day. at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. Let's go ahead and jump in the phones. You right? got it, man. Well, the phones are getting packed up. And, again, if you want to get your shot, talk to Benny. Ask a question, 858, area code 457-1090. Or, again, 877-792-1090. Let's talk to Kevin. Call us from Carmel Valley this morning. Good morning, Kevin. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Let me get in a real quick shameless plug. I'm bringing my 2007 Scout down right now. To the landing. I had a question for Benny. I fish a lot of halibut off the beach, and I've got an old Corrado 200 from like mm, 1991. And uh, so I'm I'm looking to replace that. So what, what do you recommend? Well, I, I tell you that nothing's wrong with that reel. That those bantams are bulletproof um, uh, and still popular in the freshwater. But if I had to suggest something, especially with line capacity. Um, nothing's wrong with either a 300E, an EJ, or the 300EJ, but I tell you, that Calcutta D400, uh, if you put 500, uh, excuse me, uh, 50-pound uh, Max Quattro, you're going to get a ton of line on there. So if you are covering area, if you're either bounce balling or just uh, drifting, you got a pretty good line of scope out there and still have enough line if you do hook one of those big ones that can be in this area. Yeah, so the Max Quattro, Power Pro Max Quattro, is, is, is thinner diameter. It's 20%, yeah, 20% thinner. So if you're fishing 50, you're basically fishing 40 pound, roughly about 40 pound, and you're getting almost uh, 30% more on your reel than you would standard Power Pro. Awesome. And the way that stuff casts, oh, smooth. Un- unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so check that out. Hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Let's go ahead uh, and step up to the mic with Kevin from San Marcos. Kevin, there he is right there. Good morning, Kevin. Thanks for joining us down here. Good morning, here Kevin. Good morning, Dana guys. Uh, I just wonder, is, is the red crab still around on the, the beaches? Well, I tell you, the last trip I went to Clemente, they're in, there's acres of them outside. And, uh, you know, when they're we fish, the yeah, they're all over. And I know up in our area they were there pretty, uh, pretty thick off Rocky Point. Um, and uh, I don't know about San Diego, but I know in my area, they're there. It's it's a good thing and a bad thing. And you meter yeah. them going out to the island off the 150. So it's definitely keeping the fish there, but um, it can also hinder the bite, too. But they're there. La Jolla, for sure, is still loaded with them, too. I mean, can, just... can you uh, go gather them and put them in a zippy bag and freeze them and use them later? Well, why not? I mean, I don't know what you'd use them for. Well, you... They're biting them. With you... red cr- Are they? Well, yeah, I, I don't. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's certainly no, there's no reason you couldn't do I it. But. What about make a stew, a red we, crab stew out of it? Yeah, we had them on the, I think it was a new Seaforth last yeah. year, that red crab on. 
Yeah. I think it was biting you. They were biting him. Okay. New hit. There. I know. Uh, I know. I guess I told the story last time. We spent a lot of time trying to convince a buddy of ours when they all watched him on the beach that they were like the best thing in the world for crab cakes. And like, <laughs> we did everything we could to get him to go down with a Ziploc bag and try to. He never. We never were able to convince him. But we we no. spent a lot of time working. I'm like, of course, man. The red crab. Like, they're pelagic. They're yeah. delicious. I know they've been out there so thick that you could just scoop it all you want. You can fill the boat with them. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. The beaches around here. Well, I think you'd probably. I haven't seen them a lot on the beach. Yeah, I'm just wash up this year. Yeah, but offshore, they're. Yeah. I mean, uh, La Jolla. Especially in everywhere. the evening time, as like the sun starts to set, you'll see those things lift off the bottom. You know, a lot of times you'll see them. You know, some. You, you, a lot of times you'll see them. You know, ones or twos here, or there, like in the water column. But if you look on your electronics, you know, on the machine, you'll see big layers of them. Usually, right on the bottom, or or a layer up off of the bottom. And sometimes they'll be clouded up. You know, wherever in the middle of the water column. But as the sun's going down, you'll watch on your machines. You'll see a lot of that stuff kind of go from the bottom or from the middle of the water column all the way up to the surface. And they'll float up. So if that was really your desire, I'd get out there in a skiff and. You know, wait till the sun's kind of just starting to set, and you, you should be able to scoop them up as a. One more for Ricky. Water. What's the uh, what's the difference between uh, your last trip down to Baja and the Bay Bass tournament? <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly good times for sure at, at both of them. You know, we we did uh, we got lucky on the, our journeyman trip. We'll talk later in the show about it, but had some really big fish and uh, and had really good times. It was more of a major major quality over quantity, and hopefully Bay Bass will be the. Uh, Will be the the opposite. Lots and lots of quantity. Maybe not as many. You've been doing some pre-fishing. But, uh, you know, I haven't. I've been uh, between long range fishing and Puerto Vallarta and, and weather. We haven't had a chance to go. And then with the yellowtail fishing being good as it was, it was really hard to make the call whether to stay in the bay or go out and fish yellows. And the yellowtail uh, they they won out the battle. So, but Doug and I are fishing for sure this uh, this week coming up. So there you go. Rain or shine, we're grab, going for grab it. Grab your prize there, uh, Kevin. And uh, thanks for joining us here at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. Let's talk about the. Okay, we got cast. Yeah, right. you got it. We're gonna find out what's biting in the Baja right now. It's time for the catch port with the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Cast. Tours. Today, this port sponsored in part by Fisherman's <coughs> Processing in San Diego. It's long range season and time to pre book your processing orders with Fisherman's Processing before your trip. That way, you're the first in line when your trip returns. You can friend them on Facebook at Fisherman's Processing or for more details, check Fisherman'sProcessing.com. And we got the cast man, Richard Castaneda. What's up, Cass? Hey, buenos dias, Ricky, Pedro. Hope everything's buenos, good. Buenos dias, well, Cass great, man. Buddy. Hey, sounds like you guys are having fun there, Dana Landing. Heck yeah. Wish I would have known. I'd have planned on being there. Just, uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm a little ways away from there. But anyway, yeah, doing indeed. well. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, the fishing down in Cabo slowed down a little bit. Uh, where You know, we were getting uh, an average of one striped marlin per boat per day down there. It's just a little bit dropped under there. But still a good marlin bite going on in, San, in, in Cabo San Lucas and also the San Jose area. Um, Dorado bite has also slowed down. Not as many Dorado as they had been catching about the last month. But... Uh, Still some Dorado in the area. Most of the yellow t- yellowfin tuna action is up and around the Sea of Cortez when the weather permits those boats to get up there from that north wind. Uh, but they're f- fishing around La Fortuna and the Iman there. Um, not big fish, probably, you know, 15 to 25 pound fish. Now the Gordo Bank, <coughs> excuse me, the Gordo Bank in the evening, if you get out there for the late afternoon bite, have been getting some fish up to 100, 150 pounds. Not a lot of them, but guys that are working it. Are, you know, getting those fish and they're coming back about dark into, into the port there at the new marina. Over in Mazatlan there, striped marlin, <clears throat> non-existent there, but the sailfish contain, uh, continue to be the number one billfish there with an occasional blue marlin mixed in about a one per boat, uh, per day average on the sails there. They're getting a few dorado and we'll wind up with, uh, Xtapa Uh, still very, very good sailfish bite. Uh, within a mile, mile and a half of the entrance of the harbor there, a little further out, going out 10, 15 miles, they're getting into some blue marlin and uh, dorado out there. So it uh, looks like a pretty good bite there. And, of course, inshore has been really, really good for the uh, roosters and the jacks. Uh, so it's some good good inshore action going there, uh, guys throwing uh, poppers and trolling live baits along the surf line there. But some really good action there. But Pete uh, <clears throat> just got, <clears throat> excuse me, got a little frog in my throat. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, we uh, just had a, one of our guys scheduled for our Pesca Panama trip April 2 to 9. Uh, had to drop out because of uh, some um, illness. And yeah. uh, anyway, he um, uh, we got one spot open for us. Oh, nice. oh, man. Nice. Yeah, anybody April. wants to join us uh, can give me a call at uh, 800-593-6510. Um, and we can, you know, squeeze you in. So give us a call. 
And uh, that's the report for this week, and I'll talk to you guys next Saturday. Yeah, uh, April 2 through 9, John Ireland's going, I'm going, Steve Pinard's going. We have a great group going on that trip if you want to join us. It's been sold out for what, six months, Cass? Yeah, 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 Steve yeah. Pinard is going to be there. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be gonna fun. Be so you want to join us, call Cass, jump on that spot that just opened up. Thanks, Cass, man, and we'll All talk to you next Saturday. All right, man, talk to you then. All right, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way. We do have an open phone line, too. Great opportunity to get through. Talk to the man, Captain Benny Florentino, 858-457-1090 or 877-792-1090. And we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. It was one of those trips that sometimes comes along. Hey, everybody, this is Captain Dwayne Diego, four-pack charter captain, here to talk to you about Parker Boats and the good folks at West Coast Marine. When it came time to start Pinnacle Sport Fishing and get my own boat, there was only one choice. I wanted a Parker, and there's a real good reason for it, the fishability and seaworthiness. I've been fishing on Parkers for years now, and I know the abuse they can take. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty, industrial-strength boat, probably overbuilt, but that's what I need when we're out 12 hours a day, over 300 days a year, running charters. The guys at West Coast Marine built me one heck of a fishing boat. From the custom tower with steering and throttle controls to the backup bait pump system, my Parker 2520 XLD will deliver me to the fishing grounds reliably and safe. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, honest deal, you need to see Kevin Kelly at West Coast Marine, located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa, or check them out and their inventory and information online at westcoastmarine.com. Happy New Year from your friends at Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Hi, this is Doug Kern, and we have a lot to look forward to. I will be making some great buys at the Big Las Vegas Tackle Show, gearing up for the Fred Hall Shows. And I always make some amazing deals to pass on to our customers. After last year's incredible season, the gang at Fisherman's Landing Tackle are excited for what this year could bring, and we will be ready for the shows. In fact, stop by today, and we will share some new product knowledge and pre-show deals. And make sure to see us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego or saltwatertackle.com. Just because it's winter does not mean there are no fish to catch. Fisherman's Landing is taking full advantage of the fishing opportunities this winter with half-day trips, three-quarter day Coronado Islands trips, day-and-a-half colonnette trips, and of course, long-range trips. We will be targeting yellowtail, tuna, rockfish, and more this winter. Check the website at fisherman'slanding.com or call us at 619-221-8500 for details and to book your trips. Have you checked out the giant fast lane kayaks in Mission Bay yet? It's hard to miss right in the middle of Dana Landing across from SeaWorld in Mission Bay. This massive 5,500 square foot location is loaded with Hobie Mirage Drive kayaks and all the accessories. They also have a great selection of Hobie clothing, stand-up paddle boards, paddles, and more. Check out the new model Hobie kayaks arriving daily and see the great deals on previous year's models. Even test a kayak or stand-up paddle board right out their back door on Mission Bay. When it comes to Hobie kayaks, no one does it better than the crew at Fast Lane Kayaks at Dana Landing across from SeaWorld in Mission Bay. Check FastLaneSailing.com Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Lepresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there, too, delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. This is EPRF, 1090 AM, Rosarito, Baja California. The best NFL coverage is right here. Hot inside the pylon for a touchdown. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Again, live at Dana Landing in Mission Bay for the biggest day of bass fishing we're going to see in San Diego for a while, man. This yeah. is it. Everybody's down here. Every every year, Stephen does this. I believe this is the third or fourth annual. 
and it's become a tradition, so this it's is... going to happen. But this is by far the largest thing that's ever happened uh, for uh, this event. No doubt, man. This yeah. is cool. Between the number of seminar speakers, the quality of people that are down here, all the cool stuff going on, the sales... Corey and Benny and Afrin and Jimmy Decker and Bob who I mean this is the this is the real deal man. yeah a lot a, a lot of great uh, people you can talk to uh, around and learn more see more do more about bass fishing and if you're uh, not registered for the event next weekend the San Diego Anglers Bay Bass right. you can register right here sign up the guys are here and the other guy that's here is Jim Holden from Friends of Rollo. good morning Jim well Jim. good morning guys how are you hey great to have you and you have a booth here and you're giving away this uh, accurate uh, Fury reel. Yeah, yeah. Two speed. Really, two speed. Yeah, exactly. It is a screaming deal. So we're, we're, you know, we're kicking off our annual raffle sales, okay, to win really cool prizes. The winner will be determined at the end of the This uh, is the big hall. general grand the, raffle. The big grand raffle. So today, you get two chances to win. You get entered into the big grand raffle, and then today only... For those who purchase a ticket here at Dana Lanny today, then Benny is going to select the winner for a uh, accurate uh, Boss Fury 500 reel. I think worth like 400 bucks. Yeah, you don't have to be present to you win. You don't have to be present to win. But it's going to happen at the end of the seminar at, at Fast Lane Kayaks next door uh, at about 11.30 when we wrap up that seminar next door, the, uh, the symposium, shall we call it, rather <laughs> than a cool. seminar. That's right. Um, that's right. Panel discussion, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be one you want to. Attend. Whatever you want to call it, you want yeah, to be there. You want to be there. But uh, so that's all you have to do is buy a ticket. Yeah, yeah. At, just get a ticket at, at the Friends of Rollo booth. At the Friends of Rollo booth, and uh, you get a chance to win. Okay? And, and so only the people today, today from that's this right. event right here. So I mean, geez, you have a pretty darn good chance to oh, win. Oh, no, it's an outstanding. You know, it's a, it's a it's a screaming deal. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Hey, we ne- we got another cool deal too for next weekend for those interested in going to the uh, Farmers Open at Torrey Pines, the golf tournament. You go online to RolloKids.org and you can get discounted golf tickets uh, nice. to that event, and it's a really good deal for the program. You get you know fifteen dollars off a ticket. Uh, and then Friends of Rollo gets $25 for every ticket purchased, wow. you know. So if you're going to that uh, next weekend, definitely go online. and Better uh, deal than what you can make and, and money and from Friends of Rollo. Absolutely. It's, it's a cool to take deal. take kids fishing. That's awesome. Yeah. Right. All right, Thanks so see Jim right over there at the, at the Friends of Rollo booth. Come on down. Get a raffle ticket. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, All right, Jim. guys. Appreciate Thanks, that very much. All right. Uh, get a raffle ticket. Win that, win that reel today. At, right at the end, Benny will draw the winner at the end of the, uh, the panel discussion. That, that's going to be such a great event, right, Ben? A little bit of experience on that uh, yeah. forum there. Yeah, that's happening at 10 o'clock this morning at Fast Lane Kayaks. Uh, kind of give a description. I mean, I'm going to be moderating, but you guys are going to do the talking. Well, I mean, you know, we've we've done them before, so you know, we're very comfortable about answering questions and giving it all up. Um, I know I, I've gotten you know, given up spots and that sort of thing in my area and, and baits, and I always say you, you always got you, you still got to get out there and catch them. Yeah, you know right. I mean, but uh, we're going to help eliminate that learning curve for a lot of the anglers that are you know are in the know. Now, I haven't fished the tournament in a number of years, but I think. I may be there next weekend to fish it just because it's a really? great it's a great event. Oh, it's a great, great great cause and it's a it's a great happening. It's I mean happening, my man. goodness. I mean between the anglers and then the families and and the barbecue that the uh, San Diego anglers put out and and even the vendors there. It's a super event. Yeah. yeah. So for sure. Well, the cool, it's going to be fun. The thing that's so cool about those panel discussions, too, is it's not just it's not, not just the, the question, the original question and then the original answer. It's all of the spinoff that happens after that. You know, somebody might ask, you know, Benny a question about his, whatever, his favorite color swim bait, and that just, that turns on to, you know, Corey talking about this, and then Afrin throwing his two cents on and that, and then, Jim, you know, it's, yep. it's, all the, it's all the cool spinoff that happens. It makes these so much fun. Yeah, so that's 10 o'clock today. We're going to be off the air at 9 o'clock here this morning. Uh, then we'll take a little break, and then 10 o'clock we start up at Fast Lane, right next door uh, here at, uh, at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. Come on down. So plenty of time to win some great prizes and get some super deals on equipment. We've got a really nice crowd here this morning. Mike in Carlsbad is here. Mike, you around? There's Mike right there, and he's got a really good-looking hat on. <laughs> not going to lie, man. Yeah, that's not a hat. What's up, what's up Mike? Go, Mike? Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Occasionally, because I want to keep it nice and pristine. Nice. Yeah, so you're doing a good job. <laughs> I have a question for Benny. Um, when it comes to reels, the gear ratio on the reels, 
Um, how do you determine which, what kind of gear ratio you're going to use? Well, well, I know over the years, gear ratio was real critical. Low gear, high gear, high speed, you know, 5 to 1 for crankbait and 6 to 1 for, you know, high retrieve. But uh, lately, and of, of late, we're, we're looking towards more how much line take. For example, uh, like a trank, you know, between the uh, power gear uh, reel and the high, high speed gear, it's about 10 inches per crank difference. And if you actually fish one and feel that, you know, because it was meant because of the, uh, the gear diameter, you know, as far as the teeth that are in the gear that are, that's bringing in more line or less line because you want more power as opposed to high speed. Right. So we've been determining more of inches per crank as opposed to. Now, you can still vary it. You know, I know, uh, but a lot of my friends like fishing that power gear uh, tranks for fishing yellows because they can wind as fast as they want and still keep that jig in the water. But when they do hook that 25, 30, 30 plus pound yellow, it stops and they can really put the screws to them. And, and especially when they're up and down and can really put some uh, 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 power behind it by, by winching them up to the boat. But okay. uh, as far as high speed, low speed, it's, it's preference. You know, I know uh, my tournament partner, Keith, likes fishing the low speed uh, crankbaits because he can wind fast without overwinding those crankbaits, you know, especially in the bays, fishing spotties and some of those deeper uh, sand bass, uh, fishing the ledges. They, he likes a little bit, he likes to fish that so it digs, and then when he does hang that decent fish, he's got the power behind it to, to get that uh, wenching power. Okay, so, so is he, uh, so if you had a, a 5.4 to a six, a couple of reels that are 5.4 to 6.2, yep. Then he would be using the 5.4 for a crankbait. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And then the higher speed for probably slow and low because when you do get that bite, you want to get as much line in as as fast possible. as possible. So you're bringing that that line in and then coming tight to the fish right away. All right. And are you keeping are you trying to keep the slack out of the line at that point? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Great. Great. Thank Thanks you. for That's joining awesome. us here at Dana Landing. Appreciate yeah. that very much. You know. Uh, you got your little prize there from Benny, a nice AFCO hat. Very nice. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had the opportunity. I, I had to take my car in for a recall, my uh, Transit, Ford Transit Connect, and, and Mark Wheeler from NCS Ford loaned me his, his uh, F-150, uh, brand-new F-150 4x4. Un- I'll tell you what. what. What a car, a truck that is. Well, I know more than you know because there was multiple people that came into the store because Pete usually always parks like in the same area at uh, down by the landing there, and several people came in like, "Do Pete get a new truck? That thing's badass." You know, like, everybody, everybody, like, I'm, oh, yeah. no, I'm not kidding. Like multiple people. Oh, came yeah. in. R- R- Rosie from Fisherman's Processing was the first came. Right, Pete get a new truck. That thing's yeah, awesome. Yeah, so, it, yeah. It, it, whatever, you was, yeah whatever you got uh, was Whatever you got was. I'm rad. telling you what, that truck was unbelievable, and the technology inside, uh, I, you know. Of course, Wheeler wanted to sell it yeah, to me. Yeah, exactly, yeah, but, he uh, did. But uh, I, 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 you know, I have my Transit Connect. But that might be the next yeah. one. But the, the cool thing was, was I had to put something in the in in the in the back, and when you open the the tailgate, it's on hydraulics. Right. So it doesn't just drop. It just like smooth down. It's got a light in it. It's got a light where you put the key in it. It's got lights when you drop the tailgate. <laughs> I mean, this thing almost drove itself. That's it's So cool. So uh, if you haven't checked out the new. Uh, F-150 that Ford is making, it'll blow your mind. Just go test drive one. Yeah. And, and <laughs> but be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Yeah. You'll be like Pete where you want that thing. Yeah, you want it. You'll want it bad. You know, speaking of learning, um, if you ever wanted to learn more about fly fishing and didn't know where to start, well, maybe uh, if you're a seasoned fly angler and you want to learn to tie better or cast better, if this sounds like you, consider this an invitation to one of the premier annual fly fishing events in Southern California. It's Flyby, hosted by the Southwest Council International Federation of Fly Fishers. And at Flyby, you're going to be able to observe world-class roster of fly tires. I mean, these are like the best of the best. And they're going to demonstrate their signature patterns and answer questions. Outside, certified casting instructors, the best around, are going to offer personal fly casting lessons. One of the hallmarks of Flyby is the annual garage sale at which you can purchase a huge selection of gently pre-owned gear at insane discounts. So, for example, you ever want to try fly fishing and you don't want to invest a lot of money but get really nice gear, this would be your place, the big garage sale. And you, uh, it's all, and, you look at, and if you don't find what you're looking for at the garage sale, 
Put in a bid on the on-site raffle and silent auction, which will be running all day long. That's a great deal, too. So come on down. It's flyby. It's Saturday, January 30th, just a couple of weeks away. It's going to be at the Long Beach Casting Club from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admissions, 15 bucks at the door, $10 for Federation members. But if you donate $40 worth of gear to the garage sale, you get in free. And admission also includes a hot lunch, burgers and dogs for free. That's nice. Federation Fly Fishing Flyby. Saturday, January 30th. You don't want to miss it. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phones, right? We got it. We got Mike from El Cajon on the line. Mike, good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, guys. Uh, I was going to put some competition up against you, Rick. You know, the big tournament, but i got to be up here working, so... You know, you're going to get off easy this year. That's a that's a that's a, a little weight off the shoulders. I'm not going to lie, Mike. I'm glad to hear that. One less to worry about. I figured that, but you know, I was reading in the Western Outdoor News, and uh, the, I seen this uh, the one page that was talking about fate, and it, it it showed about the 17-year-old Hopkins boy, and how H&M took him out fishing. And I'm and I'm reading this. I'm thinking, you know, this is what Christmas is really all about. But this is what our fishing nation is all about because we have the best boats, captains, and crew in the entire world, not just the West Coast. And that means all the way from from Daniel Landing to to Seafall to all of Fisherman's Landing, H&M, Point Loma. We can put these guys up against anybody in the world. And we're going to come come, come, come. (laughs) You bet, Mike. Hey, thanks for that. We appreciate that very much. All right. Back here at Dana Landing, Harry from La Jolla. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to be fishing in the uh, tournament next week using the uh, my kayak, my nice. outback. Your outback. Un- unfortunately, I do not have it uh, geared with any electronics, any clues <laughs> that can help me. Well, there's this thing. There's this app called Google Maps. And um, you can um, utilize that, print it up, put it in a, maybe laminate it, give you at least some direction. Um, or you can follow Ricky and Doug around, because well, they've done all right. Yeah, but they're going to go, they're gonna <laughs> go faster you better, you better paddle your butt off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, that would be, you know, without any electronics, and you've been on that on that body of water before, so you have a general right, idea. Right. I would I would just take what you've experienced and utilize that, but also the Google Maps. Um, well, that's a great suggestion. I'm going to do that. I, I think that's uh, – I, I know a lot of the tournament anglers in the freshwater utilize it for every lake they go to. So does I, it give detail on the water? It too? gives you detail. Yeah. And as, uh, you know, top topographical, I guess, looking from top, you can literally see the contour uh, from light to dark. And, you know, for me, I, I'm, I'm – I'm going to concentrate on that ledge. Vision those edges. Yep. Vision those edges. Does yeah. it give coordinates where I could use my cell phone to zero right in on that spot? You know, that that's a really good question. Sometimes you can. If, if you go on your computer and maybe, you know, touch that, it, it may give you uh, the coordinates. You know, depending on what app you have. Um, you know, unlike our, our Simrad and Lowrance electronics, where you touch an area, it gives you, you know, your lat right. lawn. So uh, I believe there may be some apps uh uh, out there that can can direct you that way. Yeah, I'll use a cell phone to zero in on a spot. Yeah. Then there you that's go. Great. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, and you know, that. and again, another suggestion when you're using your phone in that that GPS app, if you're catching them and then they stop biting, mark that, come back to it at a different time. Oh, ah, you know. That's another so, good suggestion. and if you see like a line of stars in that, then I would suggest maybe on the outgoing, you work your way up from those stars and drift on that because there could be a reason why. They're on that line. Maybe the bait's going up and down that channel. I don't know. But, you know, it, it's telling you a story. And you, it's telling you, know, you a story. You don't always have to have a picture of the bottom. You know, you can feel your way around and use visual landmarks to keep you on that. Now, in the world of Fish and Power Pro, you know, Terramar rods, how sensitive things are, you know, you can feel the difference, you know, just... Maybe you're not normally paying attention, but you start to feel the difference of, you know, when your bait's hitting the bottom, you can feel if it's, you know, that soft thud oh, where it's yeah. landed in mud or if it's a more of a jar when you're on a hard, hard bottom. Or maybe, you're, maybe your bait's sticking up a little more often, you know, as far as hanging up on the bottom and, you know, there's some kind of clam or some kind yeah. of rock. You know, you, you keep, uh, you know, you just keep that visually in, in your mind of what your bait's doing and then just get yourself visual landmarks. You know, yep. you like to do in Baja, triangulate yourself where when this... When this pole that I'm looking at is in line with the edge of the pier, you know you're in the same spot, and you know that that's what the bottom's like, and you can start to map the whole thing out just with the uh, with you know with visual uh, visual aids. Those clam 
clam beds that are over by North Island, are they outside of the area? Are, can we fish those, or is the uh, Homeland Security going to? Well, fish it until they run you out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of my theory. <laughs> well, as long as they can run you out of there and don't shoot you. Can you out fish? Of there. Sure you can. So they say you got to leave, man. All That's right. the whole good luck deal. Thank you. Hey, Harry, you good luck. And, and I'll tell you what, Fast Lane, uh, Ron Lane from Fast Lane is here, and uh, he uh, is good donating the uh, grand prize. So uh, that's, cool, that's uh, for the kayaker. So if you're a kayaker, uh, coming uh, right, Ron, you donated the grand prize for the the uh, kayak division, right? Yeah. Yeah. So nice, uh, nice prize cool. for a kayaker like Harry. So come on down, bring your kayak and uh, catch a fish and win a bunch of money. Yeah, it's good times. Hey, man, when we come back, we got a lot more. Let's talk. Coming your way. More of your phone calls. More step up to the mic questions. Again, if you want to get through, eight five eight four five seven. 1090, that's your chance right now. We got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available. Or call 619-223-1627. If you are ready to experience a real Alaska fishing adventure, check out Whaler's Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska. The calm waters around Whaler's Cove are 100 miles from any large towns, so you will enjoy a wilderness adventure without any crowds. Whaler's Cove Lodge has some of the best salt and freshwater fishing in Alaska, and there is no need for a bumpy boat ride for hours. You can find productive fishing for salmon, halibut, and rockfish just 10 minutes from the lodge. Whaler's Cove also offers fantastic freshwater fishing in wilderness streams for wild salmon and trout. The Whaler's Cove experience will fulfill your wildest Alaska dreams on the calm water of the Inside Passage or on a spectacular stream. It's your choice every day at the Whaler's Cove Lodge. After fishing, you will dine on fabulous meals created daily by the Whaler's Cove chefs and relax in your comfortable room or cabin. Learn more about this exciting Alaska destination on their website at whalerscovelodge.com or call 800-423-3123. Whaler's Cove Lodge, a real Alaskan fishing adventure. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards, we've got kayaks, we've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pongas. We have dive trips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252-646-BAHA and RanchoLanero.com. It's unique. SSRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You are listening to the home of the Aztecs. With that slam dunk, that's what I'm talking about. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. I'm very excited to share my experience with the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 touchscreen chart plotter and sonar unit I just installed on my boat. I've been a Simrad electronics fan for many years and always enjoyed the ease of use and incredible technology. Last year, I installed the new 4G broadband radar and could not believe the difference. So this year, I upgraded to the new NSS Evo 2, and it's amazing. With an easy-to-use tablet-style interface that's fresh but familiar, the Simrad NSS Evo 2 combines a multi-touch screen with push-to-select rotary dial for precision control and speedy response. The core of any marine electronic for me is how it marks fish. And the new NSS Evo 2 with built-in sonar hub sounder technology, including chirp and structure scan, can't be beat. Now, the true test is whether I need to pick up the manual to figure it out. And guess what? The new Simrad gear is so easy, I didn't need it. There's a lot more to the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 system, I'd like to tell you, but best to just go to your local Simrad dealer and check it out. Or see simrad-yachting.com. 
for more details. It was another awesome year for fishing in San Diego, and it seems to still be going strong. I've talked to people that continue to get into tuna and yellowtail offshore. It was another awesome year for Ford, too. Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. If the car you're driving is six, seven, eight years old, it's really time to get into something new because the technology in these new Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs is nothing short of impressive. You wouldn't want a cell phone with eight-year-old technology, would you? So why keep driving a car with old technology? Now's the time to stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer and check out the latest innovations and designs, like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on your new F-150. You just turn a little knob on the dash and it steers your trailer exactly where you want it to go. Trust me, backing in your boat will never be easier. Learn more at SanDiegoCountyFord.com or just stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. What a tuna and yellowtail season last year. Many say the best in 30 years. Could this season be even better? Don't be caught without the right gear. Now is the time to stock up on the trolling lure that proved to be the best. X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every X-Wrap Magnum runs perfect right out of the box. They all have extreme action and a controlled deep diving aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium VMC hooks and an irresistible rattle. The X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala can be trolled at high speeds without rolling or kicking out at depths to 15 feet. Bottom line, the X-Wrap Magnum is the ultimate trolling lure for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. With a textured translucent body, internal holographic foil, and 3D holographic eye, X-Wrap Magnums are irresistible to saltwater game fish. Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish. See the entire line at Rapala.com. 